NBC 10 breaking news. Pelsey right in the face of her. Well, we're trying to help these guys who got their car stuck. Woo. Yeah, see those wheels are spinning out. It was snowing sideways. This is heavy sleet and wind. There's a lot of people out there that shouldn't be driving. Several high water rescues to get people out of their cars. There's been a tremendous amount of trees and wires on. Good evening, I'm Jacqueline London. And I'm Jim Rosenfield. Right now at 6 o'clock, freezing over and icing up. The slush and icy mix left behind by today's major winter storm is refreezing, creating dangerous conditions this evening. Drastically different wintry scenes depending where you are in our region. Digging out from heavy snow in Allentown and Redding, cleaning up slush in Philadelphia and Delaware, clearing down trees in Moorestown, and dealing with flooding in Margate and up and down the shore. Here's what we know right now at 6 o'clock. The biggest concern for our area tonight is the refreeze that will mean dangerous driving conditions out there. Along the Jersey Shore, flooding is the big issue with businesses and homes dealing with the damage at this point. And tonight, more than 51,000 customers are still without power after heavy snow and ice knocked down branches and power lines. The entire NBC 10 First Alert team has been tracking conditions as they change minute by minute all day long to keep you safe throughout this storm. And right now at 6, our squad is deep of meteorologists and reporters tracking the threats you face now as temperatures plummet and conditions ice over. Let's begin with NBC 10's Deanna Durante tracking the road conditions live in Conshohocken. Deanna. You would think as the day went on, the roads would get better. And although they do appear clearer, those who are just hitting the roads for the first time this evening say, you better be careful. All day, we saw them on the roads. They're getting it together, but it's still pretty bad out here. So I think, uh, thank God, I just live right around the corner. So I just slid here. Benjamin Farrar says if he had to do it again, he would have shopped before the storm and not after. And coming home from work. Susan Lawfery spent the night at a Center City hospital where she worked. Coming from 76 through Conshohocken, and she says the road work done so far is clear, but it doesn't always mean you are in the free and clear. Not too bad right now. The roads are not great. I would never venture out. Um, you think they're okay, and then all of a sudden somebody spins out on the Schuylkill. The roads really are bad. Yeah, um, even when they plow, the, the sleet just covers them. Those we talked to all day say they were not out for fun, but they had to get to work. Wouldn't be out in this if I didn't have to be. We found snowy and icy roads first thing this morning in King of Prussia, and despite clearing the streets, many still have ice and snow and water building up. And for those whose job it has been to clear the roads. It's a mess. It's a mess. Sometimes they get stuck too. There's a lot of people out there that shouldn't be driving. And again, if you're heading out tonight, crews have been working to clear the roads. We can tell you that right now in Montgomery County, police are on the scene of four separate different accidents. But if you take a look, they've just left here trying to clear this parking lot. And you can see that ice is still building up and it's going to be slippery, especially as it gets darker. Reporting live in Conshohocken, and Deanna Durante, NBC 10 News. To an area that really got hit hard, the Lehigh Valley heavy snow fell at times, dumping between 12 and 14 inches. Blowing snow was also an issue on the roads as plows tried to keep things clear and not even 18 wheelers could handle the snow and slush. And these guys got to work out pushing their car. People in Reading are also busy digging out tonight. Some using those bobcats, others going well, that classic shovel route. NBC 10's Brandon Hudson's live in Reading tonight. Brandon, driving there won't be easy anytime soon. No, it won't be, Jacqueline and Jim, especially not with this thick packed snow. You can see it comes well past my ankle. I want you to take you across the street or any part of the street for that matter, you can see some of these cars are still buried in the snow. It's going to take a while for, to, for some of these cars and some of these people to get these cars out of there. We're on North 6th Street out here in Redding. The crews are working on the side streets this evening. We just got a few more flakes in the last half hour, but I can tell you around lunchtime today, we were a little hesitant to drive down these streets. With so many cars buried in snow, we saw a few guys getting around on two wheels. How is it driving this in the snow? Bad, slides everywhere. Victor Pagan rode his motorbike down North 6th Street in Reading this afternoon just as the final flakes hit the ground. 
The winter storm dumped enough snow to keep neighbors busy shoveling sidewalks and cars. It's cold, but you know, gotta do it. And if you think this is a lot of snow, their work is far from over. People who live in this apartment have to go back down this alleyway and behind the building and dig out at least a foot plus more of snow. Where the side door we can leave, uh, leave back here, so that has to be cleared also. Redding's mayor and public works director told me 20 crews are out now and 20 more will be out later. They're working 12 hour shifts. They say trucks plowed each road at least once, which made it somewhat easier for Judy Martinez's family to walk to a meeting she had this afternoon. We had a vehicle, but our vehicle broke down, so, and we don't have cash on us right now at the moment. And here's the deal. The city says that people have about 24 hours after these, this snow stops to dig out their sidewalks and the space around their fire hydrants or they'll be fined. The mayor says that they will continue to work through the night until they get all these streets cleared. Another thing to note, the kids, they don't have school for the rest of the week because of this snowstorm. Reporting live here in Reading, I'm Brandon Hudson, NBC 10 News. And keep going there, Brandon, doing your part. All right, thanks. Over in South Jersey, take a look at these sparks right there. Heavy snow and the ice taking a toll on trees and power lines, knocked them down and left neighbors in the dark. Take a look at what's happening in Audubon. Emergency officials say, thankfully, the winds have died down, but the ice-coated trees, we're not out of the woods yet. You just never know with the wind kicking up just as it is right now um, and we're standing under some large trees if you start hearing it snapping either get get to shelter get to the center of your house or anything like that or if you feel it's, if your house is in danger get out of your house camden county alone responded to about 1500 911 calls for downed trees and lines today and they had more than double the normal number of fire calls <laughs> Oh yeah, you've heard it, a common sound in neighborhoods today. Snowblowers out in full force in Delaware County. Neighbors in Ridley Park clearing snow from sidewalks and those driveways. If you haven't done this yet, do it now before all of this freezes tonight. The winds this evening will make it feel like the single digits by the time you wake up tomorrow. First Alert Chief Meteorologist Glenn Hurricane towards is tracking that temperature plunge. Glenn. Yeah, and that makes it even harder to be shoveling snow. It takes more energy to do that. And with the weight of the snow, that adds to the problem. So you got to take it little piece by piece and not try to fill up the entire shovel. Now, we at least have the snow showers weakening that came through Redding and coming in through Chester County, hit East Nottingham, now New London, about to get some flurries in Coatesville, but that's not going to add too much. The center of the storm still going up over New England, and of course, it's a big storm. 32 now in Philadelphia. We've already dropped a couple. Wilmington's down to 30. 28 in Pottstown and Allentown and Reading, and this is just beginning. The sun hasn't even set yet. It sets a little after 7 o'clock now. Remember, we changed the clocks. The northwest wind still gusting to 40 miles an hour in Wilmington and Millville. We saw wind gusts of up to 65 miles an hour at Seaside Heights and 60 miles an hour near Lewis. I'll tell you more about when it might be warming up. It'll take a while. That's coming up in a few minutes, Jim. All right, we'll wait for that blend. Storm Force 10 tracking road conditions for us at this hour. Right now driving in Malvern, Chester County right now, where as Glenn mentioned, there have been some flurries. And right now let's go to NBC 10's Mitch Blocker. He's flying live in Sky Force 10 for us over Center City. Mitch, how's it looking? Hey, Jim, you know, I mean, you're taking a look at uh, 15th and JFK. Looks pretty good. Those major roads like Market, like JFK, they are completely clear in the city. The streets department says that they're now taking their second and their third passes on those secondary roads. On one of Philadelphia's smallest streets. You stay in the house all day, it's no good. <laughs> Marcos Talapico and his kids are doing what Philly street crews haven't gotten to yet. We try to enjoy uh, the storm. Through the storm, more than 450 plows and trucks fought the snow and ice. Caravans of plows kept emergency routes clear. It's a backbreaker today. Walt Nelson kept the sidewalk clear near City Hall. We just got to keep going over. It's like our second, third time doing this. The city's Office of Emergency Operations says there were no major problems during the storm and 911 calls never spiked. 
The hardest part was for those from places like Argentina. For us, it's something new. And those just trying to get to the office once winter storm Stella let up. It's pretty tough walking around. It's uh, the, the rain makes the snow pretty heavy. I'm getting a little bit of workout. I'm sweating under here. Again, the major roads, they are clear. There's still some sidewalk and street clearing to do in those secondary and uh, other roads. They, they will need a little bit more clearing and some more salting. But for the most part, Philadelphia's streets are passable. If you are coming into or leaving the city, it looks pretty good. We're live at Sky Force 10. I'm Mitch Blocker, NBC 10 News. Does look pretty good out there. All right, Mitch, meteorologist Tammy Souza is tracking the snowfall totals in the city. We knew there were a lot of factors that would go into these numbers. Tammy, the sleet and the freezing rain really cut down on those totals. They did in some places, but you know, when we said six to 10 inches in Philadelphia, well, we did. We picked up six inches on the nose at the airport. That's what's going down in the history books officially coming in this afternoon. Earlier, we had the uh, the noontime totals, but they updated all of these. Uh, Center City at the Office of Emergency Management, 6.8 inches and Bustleton, six inches. So uh, we had generally across uh, Philadelphia, we had anywhere from four to six inches of, uh, of snow out there now around the area. Let's take a look at this. Mount Pocono is the winner with 24 inches. Spinnerstown with 9.3. Lehigh Valley picking up 14.5 uh, 14 and Burks in the 13 range. Cape May only 2.8. Uh, Penwin 5. Reddington 8.7. Wilmington 2 and Mount Holly 5.3. So maybe not quite as much in some areas, but still significant snow with all this other mess going on as well. Guys, back to you. All right, Tammy, and a programming note, we'll be on the air early tomorrow morning to help you stay safe as you head back to work. Join us starting at 4 a.m. for NBC 10 News Today. And if you're not sure if your child's school is starting on time tomorrow, check the NBC 10 app. You can also sign up for school delay and closing alerts pushed right to your phone. Yeah, once the sleet and the freezing rain were gone from northern Delaware, the sledders came out, all the fun and the storm cleanup. We're going to talk about it straight ahead. From fun to flooding, trouble here at the Jersey Shore tonight. Cars stranded, streets closed, rough waters in the back bay. We're going live to the ocean next. You're watching continuing winter storm coverage on NBC 10. Count on it. The sun is about 45 minutes away from setting on a wild weather day at the Jersey Shore. You're looking live at Cape May where conditions are drying out now after hours of heavy rain. And a morning high tide flooded some shore communities with water, stranded some drivers who tried to drive through it. NBC 10's Drew Smith has been out in Atlantic and Cape May counties all day long for us. He's live tonight in Ocean City. Drew, the wind and waves the concern there, not so much the snowflakes. That's right, and the wind now is doing something opposite of what it was doing this morning. Take a look right now. That is blowing offshore, which is very good news for the back bays, so those aren't going to flood up tonight when we reach high tide. Come over here. I want to show you the oceans, which are still ferocious. Those waves really crashing on into the ocean, but over there on land, it's time to dry out from what was not a snow day down here, but a flood day at the shore. From the beach to the back streets, northeast winds from this storm pushed water into the bays at the worst possible time. You don't gotta go out, don't go out, stay in the house. The streets began filling up well before high tide this morning, coming in several feet higher than expected. That brought out the big trucks for high water rescues, like the one captured in this fire department photo. Fire department's always ready with boats. They've got weighted pants, so if they need to get to you. The Vagabond Tap Room in Atlantic City served as a place to relax and dry out. It seems like everybody's just uh, coming in now that all the water's receded. Hours of flooding and heavy rain left debris in the streets. We found these mattresses in a light post in disarray near the boardwalk casinos. It was definitely a, a little blown around, a couple signs getting knocked over. Ocean City closed several streets and water lingered in the center of the island until it had a chance to drain. But the impacts of this storm aren't done yet. But now it's just uh, battening down the hatch and realizing nor'easter and the winds are going to be with us for the next couple of days. 
and the storm certainly has churned up the ocean here. But if we pan over towards the shore, you can see the water is heading toward land, and that means we're getting close to high tide. But again, that west wind is really going to help us out tonight. We're not expecting the flooding again when we hit that high tide like we saw this morning. Live in Ocean City, I'm Drew Smith, NBC 10 News. Fortunate change in direction there, Drew. In Delaware, check out this scene. This tree came crashing down on a home in Stanton, Newcastle County. It also crushed a pickup truck that's under it right there. Good news here, though, no one was hurt. Tonight, NBC 10 Delaware Bureau reporter Tim Furlong has more on the storm's impact on the first state. He's live in Wilmington, and there, a snow day means a sled day, Tim. That's right. The impact here today at this point is fun. You take a look at the letters here. Possibly, you know, you think about it, they might be getting their last runs in of the season, but it really, it wasn't all fun and games in northern Delaware today. Today, northern Delaware was a lot of this and a lot of this, too. I was hoping for some more snow. Yeah, I thought it'd be a lot more snow, not so much ice. Trees and branches came down in bad spots in Newcastle County, like on this house in North Wilmington and on the front steps of Kid Shaleen's restaurant near Trolley Square. Thousands of homes lost power and the roads not really busy except for the few who ventured out, those who shouldn't have ventured out. And of course, the Del Dot plows basically out pushing the slush around. It's passable, but um, you just got to take it easy. Um, there is a layer of ice down on the road. But on the bright side, once you scraped off your car and you shoveled out, or even shoveled someone else's walk like Thomas did. So you're helping your neighbors? Yeah, shoveling snow, yes. So you're a nice Cowboys fan. I am a nice Cowboy fan, yes. Once you did all that work, there was still time for fun. Actually, the snow's perfect. It's uh, nice and dense. It really turned into a decent afternoon for sledding at Rockford Park and for watching two little kids duke it out WWE style. But this girl here, she had the right idea. She brought out the cooking spray to grease up her sled. She and her crew were the fastest on the hill today. Do you prefer like butter flavor or just regular flavor? Does that not matter? It doesn't matter. <laughs> I like the baking stuff. I think it works the best. Now the sledders here are wrapping up their Tuesday. They're all wondering about their Wednesday though. They want to know if they're going to have school again tomorrow. The main roads are pretty clear. The side roads are still very slushy. All of the roads in Delaware at this point, especially northern Delaware, are still wet. There's going to be a refreeze overnight. So my answer to all these kids, I don't know. You're going to have to wait and see. Let's see what your principals and your superintendents say. We're live in Wilmington. Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News. In Chester County, people are shoveling their cars out from under the snow in Thorndale tonight. Now is the time to clear your car and your front steps because if you leave it there overnight, it is going to be much tougher either tomorrow or even after the sun goes down. Glenn, everything's going to freeze tonight. Yeah, unfortunately, the sun goes down after 7 o'clock since the clocks changed over the weekend. So you got a little extra time to get this done. This is the Ben Franklin Parkway. What a beautiful shot. You can see all the snow around and a lot of it's going to stay around for the rest of the week because it's just going to be melting a little bit and then refreezing. Got cloudy skies out there now and you can see the temperatures below freezing already. We've got a fair amount of clouds and we've also got a fair amount of wind in uh, the area at the moment and take a look at uh, Delaware and the temperatures in the 20s even in northern Delaware we got snow you got ice some freezing rain and what a mess you're gonna have 29 in Claymont and Harmony Hills and Marshallton and Newark Reedy Point 29 degrees also a little warmer above freezing farther south where there was less snow or hardly any snow so it doesn't help that it, the temperature got above freezing there because they don't have the snow to melt. Now it's going to feel cold everywhere as we go through the night, feeling like single digits by midnight, close to zero in Pottstown. And by morning, again, it's close to zero. A bunch of twos here and single digits everywhere across the area. So everything is going to be frozen solid. It will be harder to shovel tomorrow morning, that's for sure. Even in the afternoon, we got some single digit feels like temperatures. So we we have a couple of really cold days. The wind will be a little bit less as we go toward the end of the week. All the snow showers fortunately weakening here. This is what the radar looked like at six o'clock this morning with the rain snow line. We told you about that sleet. Well, for days now that this is going to be the critical thing and that sleet was likely to come up and there it was and that cut down the snow total somewhat. Cut it down in New York too, cutting it down perhaps in Boston as well. Now, as we go through the night tonight and into the morning, we 
or down into the teens, as you can see. Watch out for the ice tomorrow morning with temperatures in the teens and wind on top of that. But we just have a few snow showers during the afternoon with a little bit of wind, and it is going to be one cold day. And we've got more cold on Thursday and Friday, not even reaching 40 degrees in the PA suburbs and the Lehigh Valley, places that got a lot of snow during the day today. Glenn, if you have a lot of shoveling to do, you call in reinforcements, right? Well, this little guy wants to be a big helper cleaning up the snow in Norristown. Terry Craddock sent us this video today. We're going to check out more of the best pictures you've sent us today next. Welcome back. Take a look. Sky Force 10 flying live over the Art Museum steps. But these people are taking full advantage of those snow covered Art Museum steps. Wiping out a little bit. Gotta love those live pictures from Sky Force 10. Let's check out some of the best pictures you've been sending us throughout the day. We love it when you do this. Let's begin in the Lehigh Valley. We're going to take a look here at the Bethlehem steel stacks as that snow began to fall in the overnight hours. All right, to the Jersey Shore now where flooding has been the big problem. We've been telling you about this all day. This picture came to us from Stone Harbor. The combination of the rain and that high tide turned some streets here into streams. All right, now let's take a look at one guy who had a good time today. A lot of dogs had fun today. I've seen other pictures too of these pooches who just love being in the snow. His owners sent us this photo. They say mom and dad, they don't love the snow, but he does. Plenty more pictures on NBC10.com. Check them out and leave your own. You might even see them on TV. Jackie. All right, Jim. Our coverage of this major winter storm continues tonight at 7. We are bringing you a one hour storm special right after NBC 10 nightly news. And of course, you can get breaking weather updates anytime on the NBC 10 app. And we'll be right back. Welcome back. Live pictures from Storm Force 10, which has been driving around our roads in the region to show us conditions. This is Radnor, PA. Looks like the roads here. They've done a good job clearing the roads in Radnor. Let's give them a round of applause, but still a lot of people dealing with stuff they got to clear off their sidewalks, their front steps, and it's going to get icy. Yeah, and, and your driveway, and it's best to get that done within the next hour because everything's going to be frozen solid by morning. And then the high tomorrow is only 29, so it'll be a little bit of melting and then refreezing tomorrow night, night after night. And so even through the end of the week, there's still going to be snow around because we don't have any big warm up like we would normally get in mm -hmm. March. And shoveling with caution with that heavy wet snow. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That's the, that's the key word. All right, that's our news at 6. Thanks for watching. I'm Jim Rosenfield. And I'm Jacqueline London. Up next, NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. We'll see you back here at 7.